Bobtail's leap to fame began when he auditioned for video ideas in 2005. Jerry Waddell naturally became Bobtail's agent. Bobtail's audition tape was so good. We actually used the original first take to make the music video. After we posted the video, people from all over were looking at it. Uh, Singapore, New Zealand, the Middle East, even Oklahoma. And they were passing it around to all of their friends. It was a phenomenal success. Bobtail became an overnight sensation, a handsome young buck with talent to boot. And he could really hoof it up as a tap dancer. He could play those spells with a swivel of his hips and the babes were fawning all over him. I just loved watching him. Booking gigs for Bobby was so easy. Everybody wanted a piece of him. Jerry soon discovered Bobtail's other talents. His first album, Dear Delight, shot to the number one spot in no time and swept the Grammys. His book, Tale of the Tale, was a bestseller. He was popular with all demographics. We even did a rap album, Who Let the Does Out. It went to the top of the charts. Yeah, I've known Bob all my life. Uh, we were best friends since we were little. But, you know, he was always obsessed with making a buck. Bob Tail worked the circuit. The Tonight Show, David Letterman, Ellen. He became so full of himself, we could hardly stand to be around him. Uh, you know, the fame, it, it just went straight to his head. Stopped returning phone calls. He just acted like a total jerk. And it, it hurt, it really hurt. Bob Tail started running with the wrong crowd. The Salt Lick on Hollywood Boulevard became his favorite hangout. There he met a roadie from up north named Blitzen, and that spelled trouble with a capital D. He changed, and I didn't like it. Blitzen was bad news. I never really liked him. He was always chasing tail and hanging around the Salt Lick. And um, they rented the deer net big time. I was concerned, but he wouldn't listen to me. He relished the fame, but then the tabloids turned tail. One night, as Bobtail and Blitzen were leaving the Salt Lake, the paparazzi was waiting. Bobtail reacted like deer in the headlights. Man, I was surprised. That punch came out of nowhere. Suddenly, I had hoof and mouth. Tim went down like a stone. When I finally came to, first thing I thought of, I was going to sue his little white tail. Look. My client was falsely arrested. He was provoked, all right? He simply reacted to the flashbulbs. The photographer's mouth just got in the way. I can't focus anymore. That attack destroyed my career. His mugshot spread like wildfire over the internet. Young buck gone bad was what they were saying. But Bobtail now had connections in high places. The pole was a perfect place away from the spotlight for him to lick his wounds. Bobtail flew to the North Pole with his tail between his legs. It was rough going for a few weeks, but then he met Doe, a deer, a female deer. Doe was a personal trainer. She was being groomed to work on Santa's sled team. She was one heck of a beauty, that Doe. Bobtail took to her immediately. Doe was kind of cute, but she wasn't all that. But then she was assigned to get Bobby back into shape. Bob responded by working his tail off, but Bob being Bob, he never missed an opportunity and soon began to make his move on Doe. They went everywhere together, Bob Tail and Doe. They were inseparable, but soon his other mistress, the fame, the glory, began calling. So we made Doe part of the act. Bob Tail and Doe made an incredible duet. I'm really happy for him. Uh, him and Doe, they seem just like a perfect couple. Doe was just what the act needed. She made Bobtail look great. I gotta give it to Doe. She really got Bobby back on track. I don't care if he is tight with Santa. Naughty or nice, I want justice. No comment. Video ideas shooting Bobtail was the best thing that ever happened to him. And it was really good for us as well. 
In fact, we just finished shooting his new video. Let me let you take a look at it and see what you think. Roll it.